Welcome. Today is deadlift day. How have deadlifts been feeling, bro? Decent, actually. Um, not too shabby. I'm happy enough how the progress has been going, so um, I think this week's just 320. Maybe push it up a wee bit, maybe a, rep, a couple of reps at 340, 350. Uh, but yeah, feeling, feeling good. How has deadlifts been feeling for you? Stuff. Yeah, that was good. It's my first time using a belt in any, anything I've been doing, so squatting, deadlifting, uh, some events I've been doing it in, but like the main stuff, I've not been using it, so that was my first pull of a belt. Much more tighter, obviously, when you have a belt, it's a bit easier, so yeah, after this, it's just 290. I'm gonna go 320 for a few reps and then try 340, so that's my goal today, is 340 for a couple. Nice Tom. Nice one. Nice, come on. Good. Come on. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I mean, improvements is what we need, and obviously, for worlds, you know, training on deadlifts, I was all over the place. Even for Arnold's, I think a lot of people have seen a lot of failed deadlift attempts. Um, but, like I said, I've been, I think, three or four weeks, no belt, trying to get the hammies, the lower back, the core, everything just solid and I know when I put a belt back on I'll be better. So the goal today was to do one set of three at 340, so to do two sets, 340, um, with just a belt on, I'm very happy with. There's about three deadlift sessions left to roll our rock so next steady session I'll put a suit on, because now my, my raw power is getting up there uh, gradually, so put a suit on and I think it's like 355, 360 on the comp day. So next week, you know, I'll probably aim for like 350, 360 in a suit within two weeks of just getting used to pulling 360 for, you know, I don't need to rep out, it's just four or five reps just to get used to that and I'll be all good. But yeah, very happy with that because if this was two months ago, I'd probably had a double and been mad. Um, I wasn't even pulling this on a whippy deadlift bar before Arnold, so to do it on this, it's, I'm very happy. So yeah. All good, and on to the next. Come on. Easy, nice. Nice, Luke, come on, get it. Good. How was that for you? Uh, first couple of sets were, let me see what here. First couple of sets were a bit crappy, just, uh, you can't get the position, it was a little bit narrow in my stance for some reason, but uh, yeah, it was good. Um, 
last set of 320 and the set of 340 um, was nice. So just, uh, as Tom says, it's just improving. Uh, improving as much as we can. So yeah, if I can hit a few reps, three reps at Albert Hall, that'll be good. And then just make up for it another event. Our events are really good, so yeah, super excited. What's next? Next we are, so we're prepping for um, Shaw's, the Shaw Classic as well. So we are doing rack pulls, which mimics the Hammer Tire deadlift. I think we were 350, 360 last week, so I'll probably much and such the same, I think. Um, and we'll see how, see how that goes. So we'll get into it. Huh? Ash forgot to put your tummy pack in. Well, I'll put that one in that one, this one. Summer, summer tummy pack. Uh, if you look at the sun with your eyes, you can't see it. But for people that don't know, um, how does this mimic the hammer tire? For the hammer tire, you pull a lot higher off the ground, so imagine the, the diameter of a hammer tire wheel, whatever that is, so you find the centre point. So I believe it's around, it's around there on us. So yeah, it just replicates the height, um, and it's a weird one, the, the flex. We're using a deadlift bar, so it's quite flexible. So, which also mimics the, the hammer tire deadlift that Brian's got. It's it's quite flexy, fl quite whippy, and it'll help our deadlift as well. You know, doing this, this type of work will help our top end strength. So, Come on, look. Cool. Nice. Come on. That pose are good. Last week I did 350 for free. This week, 370 for free. Again, deadlifts are not the kids' thing, so to. Uh, Right, I think people have seen on the older YouTube videos, I was failing 320, 330, so yeah, 370 for free, I'm happy with. Uh, every week we go up in free, so next week 390, 400 for free, so all good. Do you know, uh, know what you have to do to Tom is massage his head, because the only thing that can let him down is himself. Yeah, right. Don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> How do you get on at deadlift? You World's asking. strongest man. Asking 20, 24, 20, 24, you 20, you 20, 20, 25, <laughs> 20, 26. <laughs> and Luke's stopping left back and they're changing him. <laughs> I'm giving him energy. We said rock pulls, rock pulls was good. Uh, yeah, it's just nice to keep increasing the weight as Tom says. 350 last week, 370 this week, moving our 20 kilos next week. Um, just nice to start to feel a bit more weight because um, as soon as Albert Hall's done switching back to conventional deadlift and rack pull so um, it's nice I think to have a bit of both at the moment we're doing axle um, and then we're doing the rack pulls so our position shouldn't be too far out so next up is we are doing incline dumbbell rows um, as Tom was demonstrating three sets of eight um, to get nice and juicy
Hey guys, so that is our barbell work done for deadlifts and the dumbbell rows. So now we're going to go on to some other movements that will help um, with the deadlifts. So hitting some lats, isolating them, we're going to isolate the hamstrings and then I think we've got some explosive work from our vertical jumps and some box jumps. So we'll get into it. What did Tom give you? Herpes. <laughs> what did you say? Herpes. <laughs> what are you going up to, Mr. Bodybuilder? Just heading up the stairs, mate. Gotta get something up there. Alright. <laughs> See your vert, Tom. Come on. I'm gonna beat you. Nah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Over the pipe, yeah? Okay. Yeah. It's us deadlifts over, heavier and heavier each week. Um, just keep building up. So, like I said, the suit for me goes on next week and uh, just keep building. So. All good. Um, as you can see, look at the end there. Did uh, box jumps? I did verticals. I prefer verticals because when I box jump, if the box is low, you're not going to jump your highest. And for me, if I have a target to aim for in the air, I'll jump as high as I can to get that. So I'd rather that, and it helps me with explosive power as well. Um, so yeah, that's why I do that. I prefer that, and yeah, it's got a double ding dong. Also, guys, the new lumberjack color. This bad boy is going to be available very soon to buy. We have just heard that one and a half tons of Lumberjack shirts are on their way. So we're very excited to finally get them back in stock. So yeah, check out their website. We'll be updating soon. And that's it. Become a Lumberjack for a day. Buy a Stoltman Lumberjack shirt. And it will turn your life upside down. Anyway, stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. <coughs> So today I'm going to walk you through the log press. Hey guys, this is week one of the Atlas Stone tutorial by Tom Stoneman. Right guys, today's tutorial is 